It's time for another 10 minute exercise to help you master memory techniques. Now this week's exercise is going to be a little bit different because we're going to focus on creating memory palaces and journeys. So this is how the exercise works. So for the first day, you're just going to think of a whole bunch of potential, potential locations you could use as memory palaces. So maybe it's an old friend's house, an old school you went to, a store. So you just want to think of all these different places you have actually went to, but also think of you know, uh, TV shows, video games you've been playing. Think of all locations possible, okay? Because what you wanna do is, you wanna have a have a reserve of memory palaces. So when you need to learn something, you already have a palace ready, right? You have these pre-made memory palaces, so you don't have to waste time trying to think on the spot, okay, great, what location can I create? And what memory palace can I use right now? Because that just makes you a little bit more frustrated. So the first thing, you're just gonna think of potential places. So you might you know, need to spread out to two days, three days, depending on how many places you, know, you can actually think of. And I want you to write these all down. So the second day, or after you do this initial part, what you'll do is you'll actually create memory palaces. So it might take you 10 minutes to actually go through and create a memory palace because there's a few things you need to consider. One is how clear or the, or the locations in your memory because if they're kind of fuzzy and hazy they're probably not a good place to actually create a memory palace from so you need to figure that out right and that's really easy because you just close your eyes and you picture like okay yeah you know my old friend's house i see it perfectly boom that's probably gonna be a good place to create a memory palace the second thing you have to worry about is how many locations do you want in that memory palace because depending on the place that you're thinking about you know you might get 20 30 50 different locations so you need to kind of have that in mind already so the second day or after you pass the initial stage you're gonna start creating memory palaces then from then on you know try to create one at least every day because by the time of you no know, seven days pass after you pass that pass that first stage you're gonna have seven new journeys and that's absolutely amazing because you can just go keep building up and up and up so it might take you 10 minutes to create a memory palace or a journey you know, maybe you could do two in one day, but really make sure that the memory palace you're creating is really good and really works in your memory. So that you can see it perfectly and you can walk through it forward and backwards. Because I know from experience, when I try to learn information, I'm like, okay, great. I need a memory palace. Okay, what can I create? And so I'm kind of like rushing it and I get really frustrated because I'm like, oh, great. I only got 17 locations. I need 25. I need eight more locations. Can I even create it from this place? And so by the time I'm actually finished creating my memory palace, I don't even want to learn the information anymore because it just took so much energy out. And I think the reason why it takes so much more energy when I do it that way is because I'm trying to learn something right away. So I'm really rushing. I'm really stressed out. Like, oh God, come on, come on, come up with something. Okay, what location, what location? But if you do what this exercise is telling you to do, you know, if you actually practice this exercise and actually do it, then you're going to create your locations, your memory palaces and your journeys when you're not stressed, when you're not trying to rush. So your mind's going to be in a better state to actually picture all the different places you've been and then see the different locations within them. So hopefully you found this video useful and start creating uh, memory palaces because, you know, if you want to use a memory palace, if you want to use that technique, you need a memory palace, right? You need a journey. You can't really use it without one of these things. So you want to start building up the stockpile of memory palaces. So hopefully you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Subscribe to my channel for more videos on memory techniques, how to do better in school, memory challenges, updates, and much more. Also remember to click the notification bell so you know when I upload a video. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are down below in the description. You also can check out these videos. If you want to learn all the memory techniques and learn how to apply them to all sorts of information, or if you want to start competing in memory competitions, you can check out my programs down below in the description. Look forward to my next video and get ready to get the best memory of your life.